Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. And today we are installing the bucket seats that I'm sitting in right now into the Titan Silver 2-door E46. And the reason I'm doing that is because, I don't know, I just want bucket seats in it. And I hate sliding around in leather seats, especially in summer, I guess, real hot. So maybe like in the future I'll grab some white T37s or something or C28s in bronze. I think that'll look nice. And yeah, we'll go downstairs and slap them in. Alright, the bucket seats are down and already just looking at the Titan, like the silver and the red. I think it's gonna it's gonna look real nice, it's gonna stand out. And it's just gonna hold me in a lot better, so I'm pretty keen. Like don't get me wrong, I really do like the black leather seats. But it'd be good to just have a bit more, you know, um hold in your seats. Yeah, so we'll start um pretty much removing the seats. I'll disconnect the battery just so the airbag light doesn't go on. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. It has happened before for me, which is annoying. Battery is disconnected and we're good to start removing the seat. to get to the harness, um, I'll push the seat pretty much just back. <laughs> Found another dollar. Push the seat back, the harness will be here and I'll show you how to remove the harness. All right, once the clip is pretty much out, it should be fine to just slide out. Let's see if I can get mine out. Just as easy as that. Um, yeah, you just gotta be careful that the black part here, so this black plastic part, is completely pulled out to the right. That's pretty much it, easy as that. The driver's seat is out. Could you imagine how much weight I'm going to save? I think I'll just run no seat. And to remove this part, um, it's like a funky, funky tool here. So without that, you actually can't remove it. I think BMW did that just for safety reasons, you know? But yeah, so we're going to remove that now and hook it onto the bucket seat there. I actually couldn't find the tool exactly I needed for that, so I just made pretty much put two things together and it worked luckily very luckily otherwise it would have been really uh, pretty annoying so i'm just going to remove this now and put it onto the bucket seat i uh, ran into an issue here since this one's an automatic adjustment one has extra cables so I might have to take the whole right side off just to disconnect it all kind of annoying but I mean I've already come this far so we'll continue I got that one out but now I don't even know where this one even where does that one even go So pretty much that cable follows my finger. I don't even know where it is. Well, there is my finger. And there's the cable, kind of like there. And that cable there that goes, looks like it goes up. So it's annoying, but 
Just gonna slap the driver's seat in just to see if it lines up all right. The driver's side uh, is in, fits up perfectly. I lined it up perfectly as well. So just needed to put it in to get a little bit of motivation. Whatever's going on over there. But yeah, looks so sick. Gonna look even better when the matching passenger seats in. But yeah, I just gotta get on to figuring out what to do with this mess. But it's gonna be worth it. I'm just, I'm just hungry. Ran upstairs to quickly grab something to eat. Super high protein, <clears throat> I know, but it should get me. Um, it should get me through it. Anyway, let's get back to it. Well, I got it off. Um, I followed the cable up as far as I could and it looked like it just went up way too high. So I just cut it. I couldn't be bothered. Worst case, if I want to put these back in, I'll solder it. But that's out and I'll connect that. To the bucket seat that is already in the car i probably wouldn't recommend anyone doing this just because you know it's dodgy and you probably would want to keep your i guess automatic seats but fuck, i didn't care just want to put these bucket seats in it's probably always going to have bucket seats so it is what it is after some excruciating pain and adjusting the the seatbelt uh, pretty much goes into, it's all secure. I'm just bolting up the four bolts now, and then that's pretty much it. Drive sides in, harness is in, and yeah, onto the passenger seat. All right, passenger seat is all out as well. Do the same thing, rinse and repeat, and I'll just bolt everything up, put the battery back in, and then we should be done for today. Second harness is out. <clears throat> that one was a lot more quicker just because I knew what I was doing so Connect that to that and to there and done Just when I thought I was done, I put the seat too much to the right, so. That's all right. So I'm just gonna pretty much try to readjust it while it's in the car, push to the left. And then I can finally bolt it down. Man, what a pain it's been, but it's gonna be worth it. Yo, what's up guys? So the seats are in, driver's side and passenger side. Um, it's a completely new day as well. Yeah, yesterday was a mess. Anything that could have gone wrong just went wrong. Like I, I had to readjust the seat so many times. Lost bolts, battery died, microphone broke. But hey, I mean, I knew if I got it done, it was going to be um, it's going to be way worth the reward. And again, it is, and so much more comfortable. Uh, looks so much better. I'll show you guys once I'm out of the car, just like a walk around and everything of how it looks. They just stand out so much. It kind of like changes the car's appearance as well. It's like a slight little change, but it makes it look so much better in my opinion. And the comfort as well, and just being secure in your seat. It changes the whole driving experience. I love them personally. So yeah, to me it was worth the freaking, the blood, sweat and tears, probably like six hours of uh, like just like on and off and on and off I still need to raise the rails a little bit higher but that's just about it other than that it's pretty good but yeah I'm really happy with how they turned out and now I just gotta do the coilovers and this should be a pretty fun daily